Konoha, if I let you brush up your bond, you will offend the entire ninja world. Chapter 16. Uchiha Itachi and Shimura have always been famous geniuses in the class and even in the school. Uchiha Itachi has the bonus of his surname, and he always gets full marks in the small test. And Shimura got it by beating people up. Even senior students have been beaten by him, and he can be called a school bully. The two have never faced each other head-on before, and there has always been a debate about who is stronger. But the majority of people support Uchiha Itachi, because the reputation of the Uchiha family is too loud. Today, we finally have the opportunity to see the two face off, and the students in the class are completely excited. Come on Shimura. You must win. Defeat the arrogant Uchiha. Both are so cute, it's hard to choose. No matter, Shimura is cuter, come on Shimura. The atmosphere at the scene was extremely lively, and most people were cheering for Shimura, except for those who were beaten by him. Although he looked down on these brats, Shimura would not scare people with a cold face when someone talked to him, so he was surprisingly popular in the class. As for Uchiha Itachi, it goes without saying that he thought about life every day and seemed extremely lonely and unsociable. Perfectly fits people's stereotype of Uchiha. Serutobi Hirazan also sat up curiously, with a curious look flashing across his face. In the open space, Shimura and Uchiha Itachi stood a few meters apart and looked at each other. At noon, Shimura asked Kazama Shuichi to agree to put him and Uchiha Itachi together. Only by graduating with the title of genius can he leave a deep impression in the hearts of more people, and it will be easier to brush up on the bond in the future. Of course, it is also convenient to take the opportunity to beat Uchiha Itachi. Kazama Shuichi walked over, both sides make a seal of opposition. Hearing this, Shimura and Uchiha Itachi raised their fingers. After taking a few steps back, Shuichi Kazama announced the start. Uchiha Itachi quickly took a stance. What puzzled him was that Shimura did not move at all, but turned his head to look at Shuichi Kazama. Teacher, I think the seal of reconciliation cannot be made. Before Shuichi Kazama could ask, Shimura rushed out. So fast. The exclamations exploded, and the first-year students only felt a flash before their eyes, and Shimura crossed a distance of nearly 10 meters and came to Uchiha Itachi. Serutobi Hirazan also widened his eyes. This body flicker technique, made him see the shadow of Uchiha Shisui. Uchiha Itachi's heart was alarmed, and seeing the fist approaching and growing rapidly, he crossed his hands in front of him to block it, but Shimura was too fast, and he was punched in the face as soon as he raised his hand. Bang! A puff of smoke exploded, and there was no trace of Uchiha Itachi on the field. Shadow Clone Serutobi Hirazan stood up suddenly, and the guards who followed him were also stunned. Compared to the speed and strength shown by Shimura, it was more surprising that he learned the B-level ninjutsu shadow clone in the first grade and let shadow clone come to school. Teacher, I said that I can't make the seal of reconciliation today, but it doesn't matter. I hope that Uchiha Itachi will come to school tomorrow and we can fight again. After saying that, Shimura raised his sword finger, and his figure turned into smoke and disappeared. Another shadow clone. Serutobi Hirazan was completely numb. Outside the campus, under the shade of a big tree. Shimura closed his eyes and took a leisurely nap. The shadow clone that killed Uchiha Itachi with one punch was not shocking enough. In the end, it was Uchiha Itachi who succeeded in showing off his power in front of people, and he became a supporting role. So before the battle began, he quietly conjured up shadow clone to fight in his place. He hid here and waited for the harvest. Host established a bond with Yamanaka Junya, and was rewarded with Earth Attribute Nature Transformation, excellent. Host established a bond with Nara Shikaku, and was rewarded with Yin Attribute Chakra, ordinary. Host established a bond with Hirashi Eiji, and was rewarded with 0.5 Standard Unit Jonin Chakra. Host established a bond with Serutobi Hirazan, and was rewarded with Fire, Water, Wind, Earth and Thunder Attributes, genius. Shimura Shuanyu's eyes lit up. Serutobi Hirazan finally exploded with gold coins, and it was a big one. Third Hokage Serutobi Hirazan is known as the doctor of ninjutsu. He does not have any special bloodline limit, but relies on his superb five-attribute escape techniques. 
With the cooperation of each other, he can form various combination ninjutsu, which is considered strong among cage level. His strength cannot be used as a reference for the battle with Orochimaru. An old man in his seventies, who was stabbed in advance, how much strength do you expect him to exert? It can be said that the third Hokage and the fourth Hokage should be the limit of ordinary ninjas. Third generation Suchikage is also considered one, but the dust escape belongs to the bloodline elimination, which is too special. Five genius level chakra attributes burst out in the first stage, what about the second and third stages? Tisk, old man, look at others, then look at you. No wonder you can't be a Hokage. Shimura Shuanyu chuckled, activated the body flicker technique, and the figure disappeared under the tree in a flash. At this time, the school was in an uproar. Shuichi Kazama almost fainted. Both students took the exam using Shadow Clone, and he, the class teacher, had no idea. Continue the test. I will ask you about Shimura and Uchiha Itachi later. Serutobi Hirazan calmed down and ordered Shuichi Kazama. Yes. When all the candidates finished the test, Serutobi Hirazan said some encouraging words and left in a hurry. Let Danzo and Uchiha Fugaku come to my office. Yes. An Anbu ninja hiding in the dark flashed away, and soon, the parents of the two parties came to the Hokage building and looked at each other when they met. Uchiha Fugaku bowed slightly, and Danzo just paused for two seconds with an expressionless face, and then walked into the building. Night. After leaving the Hokage building, Danzo returned home as quickly as possible. Zan Yu, Zan Yu, are you asleep? No. Shimura pushed open the bedroom door and went downstairs with a book. Danzo nodded with satisfaction, you did a good job today. Danzo was very happy to see the Uchiha clan suffer a setback, and he was even more comfortable when it was his grandson who made the Uchiha suffer a setback. It's just defeating a shadow clone, it's no big deal. Shimura Zan Yu said casually. Yes, just one shadow clone is indeed not enough. Danzo said in a deep voice, so you will have to fight again tomorrow. By then, Hirazan, I, and the other two elders will go there, and Uchiha Fugaku will also go to watch the battle. How about Zan Yu, do you have the confidence to defeat Uchiha Itachi? At the same time, the Uchiha family. Uchiha Fugaku and Uchiha Itachi sat opposite each other. I'm sorry, father, I disappoint you. Uchiha Itachi lowered his head and said softly. Uchiha Fugaku had been very strict with Itachi since he was a child. When he was four years old, he took him to the battlefield to let him understand the cruelty of the ninja world. Uchiha Itachi knew his father's expectations of him, so he had been practicing hard. But today he was defeated by a punch. Shimura Shuanyu's speed was too fast. His eyes could react, but his body couldn't keep up. And, Uchiha Itachi had other doubts in his heart. Don't apologize. You have done a good job to learn Shadow Clone at this age and to go to class for a whole day. Uchiha Fugaku's voice was low, but it was a gratifying tone, without any dissatisfaction or anger. Itachi's excellence exceeded his expectations. According to the Hokage's request, you will have to fight Shimura tomorrow. If you perform well, you can graduate early. Uchiha Fugaku said. Don't worry, father, I will definitely try my best to defeat him. Uchiha Itachi said seriously. Tell me about today's situation first, I will help you analyze it. Yes. In fact, there is nothing to say about being killed in one move. Itachi just expressed his doubts. Fugaku frowned, Uchiha throwing technique, and Shisui's instant body method. Shisui is likely to become Shimura's tutor. Uchiha Itachi couldn't help asking, then why didn't Shisui tell me? Stupid. Uchiha Fugaku scolded his son harshly, this is Shisui's mission. Shimura is the grandson of Danzo. Can their information be leaked at will? If Shisui really said it, that would be a big trouble. I understand, father. Itachi lowered his head even more. Ninjas must be careful with their words and actions, and think before they speak. Uchiha Fugaku waved his hand and didn't care about it anymore. As for tomorrow's battle, your chances of winning are slim, but don't be discouraged. Uchiha's real strength lies not in these ordinary ninjutsu and taijutsu, but in Sharingan. Being fast first is not slow. Once you open your eyes, you will soon surpass Shimura Shuanyu. 
After listening to Itachi's description and his own inference, Uchiha Fugaku knew that there was a big gap between the two of them, and it was impossible to catch up in a short time. Go back to the room and rest, and conserve your energy. Even if you lose, you must show your talent and strength to the village, so that you can graduate as soon as possible. Yes. Uchiha Itachi returned to his room, lying on the bed thinking about the memories sent back by Shadow Clone, and couldn't fall asleep for a long time. Hokage Building. Hokage-sama, these are the test papers of Uchiha Itachi and Shimura Shuanyu. Fengjian Shuichi put the two test papers on the table with a tangled look. Sarutobi Hirazan was reviewing other documents and didn't see his expression. He just bowed his head and responded and let Fengjian Shuichi go out. Half an hour later, after finishing the official business at hand, Sarutobi Hirazan took the test papers of the two people and planned to see the cultural level of Shuanyu and Itachi. First of all, it must be Uchiha Itachi's test paper. There is no doubt that it is full marks. It can be seen that the level has long surpassed what a first-year student should have. But when he saw Shimura Shuanyu's test paper, Sarutobi Hirazan was stunned. What the hell is this? He answered the previous multiple choice questions and fill in the blank questions well, and they were also full marks. But when it came to the essay questions, he almost sent him away. Especially the last one, which made Sarutobi Hirazan slam the table. I have been in power for 20 years, and my only achievement is to close the casino. Danzo, you must have taught me this. What has happened to a good child? You deserve to die. After talking with Shimura, Danzo, who was arranging a new round of conspiracy and assassination missions, sneezed twice and his face instantly darkened. Sarutobi Hirazan, he must be jealous of me for having such an outstanding grandson. One night passed quickly. With the end of the exam, the ninja school will also enter a month-long vacation, and the previously lively campus has become extremely deserted. Except for the training ground where the first grade took the test yesterday. A row of tables were placed at the edge of the empty training ground, and Sarutobi Hirazan, Danzo, and two other elders sat in the back. There were a dozen ninjas standing around, including Uchiha Fugaku. The rest of the people got the news yesterday and rushed over to join in the fun. Konoha has never lacked geniuses, but this time is different. One of them is from the Uchiha clan, and the other is the grandson of Shimura Danzo, which directly makes them the most talked about. If not for many Jonin, especially Jonin who are on missions, the number of people here can be doubled. At 9 o'clock, Shimura Shuanyu and Uchiha Itachi stood 10 meters apart as they did yesterday, but this time they were both in their original form. The referee changed from the rookie Chunin Kazama Shuichi to a cat-faced masked Anbu. Battle Rules Anbu announced in a cold voice, if one party loses combat effectiveness or the referee determines that it cannot take the opponent's attack, it will be judged as a loser. Now, the conclusion. No need. Shimura Shuanyu interrupted him unceremoniously, which made Anbu angry. Before he cast his cold eyes, he felt that he was locked by several murderous intentions. His eyes suddenly became clear and he became patient. This is the rule, Shimura. I already made the seal of opposition with you yesterday. This battle is just a continuation of yesterday. There's no need to make such a fuss. Okay. Anbu retreated frustratedly. Sarutobi Hirazan smiled at Danzo, Danzo, your Shimura is quite unique. Danzo smiled but didn't even look at Sarutobi Hirazan, no, your Asuma is still better. Sarutobi Hirazan couldn't laugh anymore. His youngest son is in a rebellious period recently. He quarrels with him at home every day, which makes him very annoyed. Danzo is directly poking his lungs. You detain Kaharu and Mitokato Homura next to the two of them are holding back their laughter. These two old guys have been quarreling since they were young, and they haven't changed at all. Shimura looked at Uchiha Itachi solemnly. He not only had to win this battle, but also had to win it just right, without revealing too much strength. According to the experience of thousands of predecessors, once he behaved too much, he would attract Danzo's covetousness, and then the orthodox group I regretted it, and then Danzo secretly used a trick on him. No, he is Danzo's man. That's fine. Shimura's expression eased. The culprit turned out to be me, hey, what's there for him to be afraid of? Uchiha Itachi looked at Shimura's expression strangely, until he heard the voice of the cat-faced Anbu, his little face became solemn. 
The battle begins. Anbu whistled, and the two moved at the same time. But one person moved forward, and the other retreated. Shimura chased, and Uchiha Itachi fled. While trying to keep his distance, Uchiha Itachi's hands were not idle. His hands trembled like convulsions, and dozens of shurikens were shot out in an instant. Each shuriken was tied with a silk thread that was difficult to detect with the naked eye. As he kept pulling, the direction of the shuriken changed. Some of them continued to block Shimura Shuanyu from the front, and some shurikens were encircled from both sides, using silk threads to form a large net, trying to completely lock Shimura Shuanyu. The essence of body flicker technique is not teleportation, but to activate the body through chakra, which greatly increases the movement speed. Uchiha Itachi also practiced with Uchiha Shisui, so he naturally knew how to limit the use of body flicker technique. Many ninjas watching the battle were brightened. It appeared. The Uchiha clan's shuriken technique. With the Sharingan's meticulous observation ability and the chakra control brought by the improvement of mental power, the Uchiha clan not only throws shuriken well, but also can use silk threads to guide and play with flowers, which is hard to defend against. But, this Uchiha Itachi is still blind. Chief Fugaku really gave birth to a good son. A Jonin sighed. Yes, another Uchiha Shisui, who knows what kind of name he will make in the future. As expected of the first clan of Konoha, there are endless geniuses. Hearing the praise from these Jonin, Uchiha Fugaku even used chakra to suppress the upturned corners of his mouth. But he didn't notice that none of the four old men, led by Sarutobi Hirazan, smiled, and just looked at them expressionlessly. On the field, Shimura Shuanyu and Uchiha Itachi always kept a certain distance. It seemed that Uchiha Itachi's strategy was successful, but... What? Uchiha Itachi's face changed slightly. Shimura Shuanyu sprinted again. He was about to pull the silk thread to intercept, but found that the kanai and shuriken were tangled into a ball with a force. Recalling Shimura's irregular movements just now, a flash of inspiration came to his mind, and he understood his intention. It seemed to be irregular, like a headless fly spinning around, but as it swirled around, it tangled all his threads together. Uchiha Itachi, I let you jump for so long as I gave Shisui face, and the farce ends here. Swish. Body flicker technique exploded, Shimura quickly came in front of him and threw a straight punch, Uchiha Itachi raised his hand to take it, but felt a piercing pain, and the whole person was also knocked into the air. Uchiha Itachi felt that he was not facing a peer, but a fully developed adult ninja. The strength of the two was completely not at the same level. Taking advantage of this huge force, he flew backwards to distance himself, and endured the pain. Uchiha Itachi began to seal, and when he landed on the ground, there were only the last two seals left. Wu Yin. Fire style great fireball technique. A fireball spewed out of his mouth, quickly expanded to a diameter of 5 meters, and rushed over with rolling heat waves. Shimura Shuanyu had also noticed his movements long ago, and the two began to make hand seals almost at the same time. Bang, the smoke exploded. A shadow clone appeared beside Shimura Shuanyu, and the hand seals made by the clone and the original body were different. Fire style dragon fire technique. Wind style whirlwind breakthrough. Explosion wind dance. The combined ninjutsu explosion wind dance was formed in an instant, the wind borrowed the power of fire, and the fire borrowed the power of wind, and the two amplified each other. The fire dragon rotated and roared towards Uchiha Itachi, and colliding with the fireball. The great fireball exploded, and Uchiha Itachi's pupils shrank suddenly. He had never expected that his ninjutsu would be defeated so easily. Under the blessing of wind style, the speed of the fire dragon increased instead of slowing down, and its size was also expanding rapidly. The flames reflected in his pupils, and Uchiha Itachi was too late to hide now. The next moment, earth-style earth flow wall. A wall of earth rose from the ground and blocked the fire dragon. When the flames dissipated, the wall of earth had been broken into pieces, revealing the figure behind the wall. Uchiha Fugaku. At this time, the Uchiha clan leader had a solemn face, looking at Shimura Shuanyu through the wall. Itachi lost this battle, Shimura classmate. No, father, I haven't. Shut up. Uchiha Fugaku turned back suddenly, but found that his son's eyes were blood red, and there was a magatama hanging on the edge of each pupil. Itachi, have you opened your eyes? 
Fugaku's anger dissipated instantly, and all that was left was surprise. Before he could say anything, Uchiha Itachi fell to the ground with a plop. Ding! The host in Uchiha Itachi's rival bond has reached the second stage, and the reward is Uchiha blood rich. Uchiha Fugaku carefully picked up Itachi and faced the long table. Hokage-sama, I need to take Itachi to treatment, so I'll go first. Go Fugaku, take good care of Itachi, and when he wakes up, congratulate him on becoming a genin for me. Sarutobi Hirazan was wearing a bamboo hat, and no one could see his expression. Danzo lowered his head, and the shadow covered his face. Thank you, Hokage-sama. Uchiha Fugaku bowed slightly, activated the body flicker technique and rushed to the Konoha hospital. Shimura Shuanyu, who had been watching them, sighed lightly. It seems that there is no chance to make this reconciliation seal. As Fugaku left, the battle was declared over. Sarutobi Hirazan left, and the ninjas who were watching the game also left one after another. Danzo came to Shimura Shuanyu, patted his shoulder, and couldn't suppress his smile. It just looked a little weird on his face. Shuanyu, you did a good job, but don't be proud. The evil Uchiha actually opened his eyes at this time. Uchiha Itachi's strength will usher in an explosion period. You have to keep working hard, otherwise you will be caught up. Shimura Shuanyu waved his hand nonchalantly, what's wrong with Sharingan? You want to surpass me after being defeated by me. Impossible, absolutely impossible, he can only look up to my back for the rest of his life. Shimura Donzo's eyes twitched. Where did his grandson's arrogant character come from? Shouldn't he be like him, an old, little? Danzo really wanted to tell him the horror of Mangekio Sharingan, but it was obvious that the current occasion was not the place to talk about these secrets. He just asked Shimura to wait for him to return at night, and hurried to catch up with Sarutobi Hirazan. When he arrived at the Hokage office building, Danzo did not knock on the door, but directly pushed open Sarutobi Hirazan's office and walked in. Sarutobi Hirazan was standing in front of the window, looking at the scenery of Konoha. Don't pretend, there are no outsiders here. Danzo sat opposite the Hokage throne and sneered. I don't understand what you are talking about. Sarutobi Hirazan didn't even turn his head. At the age of seven, you and I know what achievements you will make in the future. With Uchiha Shisui, this Konoha, is it our Konoha, or Uchiha's Konoha? Sarutobi Hirazan's eyes were dim, and the office fell into a long silence. I don't know how long it took before a long sigh came. Danzo, the war is not over yet, we need the power of Uchiha. Danzo sneered again. Hirazan, you still haven't changed, and you have been using the same routine for decades. I want both fame and results. But it's okay, it's because of your character that my roots can thrive, and sooner or later they will break through the ground and take over the whole tree. Let's not talk about Uchiha, let's talk about Shuanyu. Sarutobi Hirazan has returned to normal, sitting back in his seat, with a smile on his face, and turned into a gentle Hokage in front of outsiders. Even if Uchiha Itachi is so powerful, your Shuanyu still defeated him easily, the nature transformation of wind and fire attributes, amazing. His vision is so sharp that he can see a lot of details about Shimura Shuanyu just by using two ninjutsu. Generally speaking, the collision of ninjutsu is essentially a competition between chakra and nature transformation. Judging from the scale of the ninjutsu, Shimura Shuanyu did not use much chakra, and the two ninjutsu combined were only slightly more than Great Fireball, but he was able to defeat Great Fireball in one fell swoop and almost destroyed Uchiha Fugaku's earth flow wall because of the power of nature transformation, which made the quality of ninjutsu extremely high. What made Sarutobi Hirazan even happier was Shimura Shuanyu's fighting style. Combination ninjutsu, isn't that his strong point. He did not have any blood limit, nor did he master the secret techniques of yin and yang attributes. He only had nature transformation that trained the five attributes to the ultimate, and a dazzling variety of combination escape techniques. If it wasn't for the wrong occasion just now, Sarutobi Hirazan would probably have slammed the table, stood up and shouted that this kid was like me. Once the desire for talent emerges, it cannot be stopped. Sarutobi Hirazan finally revealed his true purpose. Danzo, Shuanyu is a good seedling. You can't grasp it. Why don't you let me train him? I guarantee that he will become the backbone of the village. You dream. 
Shimura Danzo changed color and slapped the table. The huge movement could be heard outside the door. Zan Yu is my grandson, I will naturally plan everything for him, you don't need to worry about it hypocritically. They are all decades old, how can Shimura Danzo not understand Serutobi Hirazan's style? This is brainwashing, if Zan Yu is brainwashed into opening his mouth to express the will of fire, and closing his mouth to express the flying place of Konoha, he will cry to death. Serutobi Hirazan showed dissatisfaction, what is hypocrisy, he really cherishes talent, okay. Danzo, your temperament is too dark, Zanyu such a good seedling can't be ruined by your tricks. He is still a child, he needs to receive correct guidance, stay with me, I will teach Zanyu how to become an excellent ninja. You fart. Danzo was so angry that he cursed. Excellent ninja. None of your three disciples are involved in prostitution, gambling and drugs, and two of them have escaped. Can I trust you to teach Zanyu? You still say I am dark. Danzo looked at Serutobi Hirazan as if he were a fool. The ninjas of the root are just tools, but Zanyu is the one who will master the tools in the future. Why do you think I will teach him the way the roots do? Serutobi Hirazan's face turned red with anger. Lies don't hurt people, the truth is the sharpest knife. The fate of his three disciples is the biggest pain in his heart, and Danzo accurately broke his defense. The following words rubbed his IQ hard. In the past, he always suppressed Danzo with his IQ, but today it was the other way around. You really won't hand over Zanyu to me. Hirazan, I am Zanyu's grandfather. Danzo, you will regret it. Bang. Serutobi Hirazan stormed out the door and slammed it shut. He almost walked out of the Hokage building before he realized something was wrong. He quickly turned back and pushed the door open. Danzo, this is my office. You should be the one to leave. At this time, Danzo was almost laughing like crazy. Usually he was the one who slammed the door, but today it was finally Hirazan, the old man, who did it. However, he seemed calm on the surface, and the scheming of the root leader was well controlled. If he laughed now, Serutobi Hirazan would probably be really anxious. Danzo knew how to judge the scale. You don't have to worry about Zanyu's future. Leaving a word, Danzo left. Serutobi Hirazan sighed deeply. He really envied Danzo for having a good grandson. Unlike him, Shinosuke has been married for several years, but there is still no movement. He goes on missions with his wife all day, and his youngest son is a single dog. No. Shinosuke. Serutobi Hirazan raised his voice slightly, and soon, an Anbu wearing a dog face mask entered the Hokage office. Serutobi Hirazan stared at him and ordered in an unquestionable tone. From now on, you are on vacation. Go back and work hard with Keiko. If you don't give me a grandson, don't go back to Anbu. Serutobi Shinosuke. In a single room at Konoha Hospital. Uchiha Itachi had woken up at this time. He was not injured at first, but his fist was broken by Shimura. He fainted because his body could not bear the huge mental power improvement after opening his eyes and it was self-protection. He woke up after resting for a while. Uchiha Shisui also arrived. Yesterday, Uchiha Shisui also heard the news that the two were going to fight, but suddenly an urgent task came, so he could only rush over quickly and come back as quickly as possible. In the end, it was still too late. He chased all the way to Konoha Hospital and saw Uchiha Itachi lying on the bed. When Uchiha Itachi woke up, he met two pairs of eyes looking at him with concern. Father, Brother Shisui. Itachi, you're awake. Uchiha Shisui smiled, I'm still a step late after all the efforts. I heard it was a very exciting battle. Don't be discouraged. It's normal for you to lose to Shuanyujun. You will definitely catch up with him if you work hard in the future. That's right. Winning or losing for a while is not important. Besides, you have opened the Sharingan, which is definitely a pleasant surprise. Uchiha Fugaku also echoed with pride. Opening the eyes at the age of seven is very rare in the five great nations period after the end of Sengoku. The last one was Shisui. Calculating the specific date, Itachi was half a year younger than Shisui at that time. It is worthy of being his Uchiha Fugaku's offspring. When Uchiha Itachi heard the comfort of the two, his expression was still sluggish and he didn't react much. Uchiha Fugaku thought about it, said a few words and left the ward. Although his son usually behaves very sensible, Uchiha Fugaku knows that he also has the pride of the Uchiha clan, 
and he must feel bad to lose to a foreigner of the same age. He can't do anything here, so it's better to let Shisui, who is close to his age, persuade him, maybe it will work. In the ward, there are only Uchiha Shisui and Uchiha Itachi left, and the atmosphere has indeed improved a little, at least Uchiha Itachi spoke. Brother Shisui, did you teach Shimura Shuanyu's throwing technique and body flicker technique to him? Uchiha Shisui was stunned. He didn't expect Itachi to ask this, but he nodded. Yes. Uchiha Itachi's face was lifted, and he sat up from the bed. You are his teacher, so how big do you think the gap between us is? Shisui smiled bitterly, did not answer, just shook his head. Uchiha Itachi was very unwilling. I have opened my eyes now, don't I have a chance to win? After opening his eyes, his mental power increased dramatically. Chakra is a mixture of mental and physical energy, so his chakra has also made great progress. Uchiha Itachi even wanted to challenge Shimura again now, but why did Shisui still think he couldn't win? Itachi, Sharingan is not omnipotent. Looking at Uchiha Itachi's stubborn eyes, Uchiha Shisui advised earnestly, you have just opened your eyes and have not mastered any skills. Moreover, the Sharingan of one Magatama itself is not very useful. It just enhances observation. Even without Sharingan, Gensuki has strong dynamic vision. You have no chance of winning. Is Shimura Gensuki really that strong? Uchiha Itachi didn't believe it. He followed his father to the battlefield at the age of four and killed ninjas from other countries with his own hands. What about Shimura Gensuki? He is just a dandy young master, with a bad reputation in the village, and he often eats and drinks for free in some stores. Yeah, free. Itachi, Shuanyu-kun is much more terrible than you think, and I have nothing to teach him. Uchiha Shisui said something that shocked Uchiha Itachi. How is this possible? Uchiha Shisui is his most admired elder brother, who is even better than his father. He is proficient in all kinds of ninjutsu and taigen, and his Sharingan is also the strongest three Magatama. He is not qualified to be Shimura Shuanyu's teacher. Who else in the whole village is qualified, Hokage? It's not that Shuanyu Kun's strength has surpassed me. Uchiha Shisui explained, it's his talent and learning speed. There are some things I can tell you as an exception, but you can't tell others, even the Fugaku clan leader. Uchiha Shisui's face became serious, and Uchiha Itachi nodded his head seriously. Don't worry, Shisui, I won't tell anyone else. He learns too fast. Shisui sighed. He learned the Uchiha throwing technique in a week, and all my fire style ninjutsu in a month. After another month, he completely mastered the body flicker technique. Half a year later, in a pure swordsmanship competition, he and I could only tie. Since then, I have never taught him again. What Shuanyu lacks is not skills in ninjutsu, he just needs to wait for time to grow. Shimura Shuanyu also knows swordsmanship. Uchiha Itachi said in a lost voice. He knew how strong Shisui's swordsmanship was. With the body flicker technique and illusion, he could kill ordinary ninjas with one blow. Wrong. Uchiha Shisui corrected, what he is best at is not ninjutsu and physical skills, but swordsmanship. Uchiha Itachi was completely speechless. So, I don't even have the qualifications to make Shimura Shuanyu take me seriously. Shisui looked at his dazed look, and felt sorry for Itachi. Itachi would not lose to any of his peers, but who made him meet Shimura. Fortunately, with the Sharingan, Itachi still had hope of catching up and would not be defeated at once. After waiting for a long time, seeing Uchiha Itachi recover, Uchiha Shisui continued. Itachi, although you have successfully opened your eyes, there are some advices you must remember. Uchiha Shisui's expression was more serious than before, and Uchiha Itachi couldn't help but curiously asked what? Looking at his young face, Uchiha Shisui said word by word. Before your body is roughly developed, use Sharingan as little as possible, otherwise, it will cause irreversible damage to your body. At the same time, on a lawn in the village, Shimura and Uchiha lay side by side, looking at the sky. The young man whispered softly, actually, opening your eyes too early is not necessarily a good thing. Why? Uchiha Izumi asked curiously. Uchiha Izumi also arrived at the duel this morning, but seeing so many Jonin and Hokage there, she was a little timid and didn't dare to go over, just hiding under a big tree and watching quietly. 
The two just talked about Uchiha Itachi opening his eyes, and Izumi showed an envious tone. For any Uchiha, opening their eyes is always what they value most. But looking at Shimura Shuanyu, it seems that she doesn't think it's a good thing to open her eyes. Because it's too young. Shimura Shuanyu reached out and rubbed Izumi's soft black hair. The little loli has been growing her hair since she was a child, and it's long and smooth, and feels great. Izumi pouted and pulled Shuanyu's little hand down. She spent a long time taking care of her hair in the morning, and it was messed up in an instant. Zanyu smiled and continued to explain to her, there are many benefits to opening the Sharingan, but we are still children now, our bodies are not fully developed, and we are in a period of rapid growth. If the Sharingan is opened too early, the balance between the spirit and the body will be broken, which is equivalent to squeezing our body in a disguised way. The consequences of overuse will be more serious, and it may cause illness. Shimura Zanyu strongly suspected that Uchiha Itachi's future sickly appearance was closely related to his premature opening of Sharingan and Mangekyo. The human cells in this world are three times that of the original world, and the development speed will also be fast, but no matter what, opening the eyes at the age of six or seven is too outrageous, and it is completely overloaded. During this year of ninja school, Shimura Zanyu found that Uchiha Itachi was quite strong, and there was no disease at all. It must be that he didn't know the value of pupil power when he was young, and he opened his eyes and cried when he was old. Hearing his serious words, Uchiha Izumi was also scared, her petite body curled up into a ball, and her envy of Uchiha Itachi disappeared immediately. Then she became curious again, Zan Yu, why do you know so much? The elders in the clan never said these things, and they all advised us to open our eyes as soon as possible. Shimura Zanyu said calmly, of course it was my old man who said that. He is the assistant of Hokage, what does he know? I see. Uchiha Izumi suddenly realized. As expected of Lord Nebekage, anything thrown at him can be believed immediately. After a while, it was time for lunch, and Shimura Zanyu took Uchiha Izumi to the famous Ichiraku Ramen in Konoha. Otsutsuki Ichiraku is a well-known name, but it's just a joke. Uncle Shuda is just an ordinary old man who makes ramen. Ah, it may not be appropriate to call him an old man now. There are still more than 10 years before the plot begins. He is at most in his 30s. But his cooking skills are impeccable. Shimura and Uchiha are also regular customers here. Every time, Shimura orders a large portion of char shao ramen and two extra croquettes. Azumi's appetite is much smaller, and a normal bowl of ramen is enough. But this time, Shimura found something interesting. A child about their age was in the kitchen, kneading dough by hand. When asked to add water, she added a little carefully, fearing that she would add too much. Shuda turned around inadvertently and saw Shuanyu staring at her daughter. She smiled and introduced. This is my daughter Ayame. She doesn't have the talent of a ninja like you, so she didn't go to the ninja school. She learned the craft from me in the store. Ayame hid behind Shuda and nodded shyly to Shimura and Uchiha. I was thinking in my heart, this boy is so handsome. In fact, Shimura Shuanyu's parents have good genes for appearance. His mother has a standard oval face. As for his father, don't think that Donzo's face now looks like a car accident scene. When he was young, he was a famous handsome boy in the surrounding villages. He could make Tsunade and Shizun blush. So Shimura Shuanyu's father was also a handsome guy. The advantages of both parents are combined and optimized in Shimura Shuanyu. It can be predicted that when little Shuanyu grows up, she will be another, beauty disaster. After dinner, Shimura Shuanyu sent Izumi back to the Uchiha clan, and then he went home and began to count today's gains. The crushing victory over Uchiha Itachi really brought great benefits, especially today, the ninjas watching the game were all special Jonan and Jonan, who had a deep impression of him, and the quality of the rewards was extremely high. Host establishes a bond with Gekko Hayabusa, and is rewarded with three standard Chunin chakras. Host establishes a bond with Serutobi Shinosuke, and is rewarded with Fire Chakra Nature Transformation, excellent. Host establishes a bond with Bizuku Leitung, and is rewarded with Space Ninjutsu Talent, one-third. There are more than ten people eating melons, and most of them gave the first stage rewards. The most precious one is naturally the Space Ninjutsu Talent, and this is the second Space Talent fragment he got. 
The first fragment is also one-third, which is the reward for reaching the second stage of the bond between Uchiha Izumi and him. Bizuku Leitung. Shimura remembers that he is a special janin in the village. He, Shiranui Genma, and Dai Iwashi were all guards of the fourth Hokage. The three of them can activate the Flying Thunder God formation together, so it is understandable that they have space talents. He was surprised that he could get the space talent in the first stage. He can only say that he was lucky today. With another fragment, he can try to practice Flying Thunder God. Without the six paths, almost no one can threaten the lives of the ninjas who master the Flying Thunder God technique, and they can only be restrained by other means. Name, Shimura Genjutsu. Gender, male. Age, seven years old. Date of birth, April 1st, 46 th year of Konoha calendar. Chakra attributes, fire, ultimate, wind, ultimate, earth, genius, water, genius, thunder, genius, yin, genius, yang, genius. Total chakra. 5 cards, 1 card is approximately equal to 5 standard Janan chakras. Chakra control talent, genius. Mastered ninjutsu, 3 body technique, proficient, conventional, 5 attributes, ninjutsu, etc. Nature transformation, wind chakra, grandmaster, fire nature transformation, proficient, earth nature transformation, proficient, water nature transformation, proficient. Special talents, hope for success, mom loves you, senju bloodline, thin, Underdevelopment, swordsmanship genius, darkness of the ninja world, mother-in-law's expectation, space talent, two-thirds, Uchiha bloodline, rich. Evaluation. Jonin with weaknesses, pay attention to playing to your strengths in battle. Justified Shimura Shuanyu was admiring the luxurious attribute panel that he had worked hard for this year, when there was a sudden movement at the gate. Danzo walked into the courtyard holding a ninja forehead protector. Zan Yu, congratulations. Shimura Danzo handed the forehead protector to Shimura Zan Yu's little hand, and his smile had never disappeared since he entered the door. From now on, you are a real ninja. Danzo encouraged, although you are not the youngest chunin, the current situation is very different from that time. You have the opportunity to become the youngest janin in the village. Keep working hard. The youngest janin in Konoha's history is Kakashi, who was only 12 years old when he became a janin, but Shimura Zanyu has the talent and background here, and there is a great possibility that he will surpass him. Shimura Zanyu looked at Konoha's forehead protector, thinking about where to hang it. His forehead is not wide, so he doesn't need to put it on his head to affect his appearance. The system sounded a prompt at the right time. Host establishes a bond with Konoha village, obtains organization, genin, and obtains a special state, leaning against a big tree. Effect. In the territory of the land of fire, the training speed increases by 20%, and the chakra recovery speed increases by 20%. The effect is improved with the change of job title level. Congratulations host for becoming a Konoha Genin and reaching the first stage of, Mom Loves You. Do you want to receive the reward? Note. The reward is reserved for 24 hours. Not for the time being. After silently replying in his heart, Zanyu looked up at Danzo and smiled, Old man, what's the point of being the youngest Janin? If you want to be one, be the youngest Hokage. Originally, he was not very interested in the organization. As the real prince of Konoha, even Janin dared not pretend in front of him, so as not to be targeted by Danzo. But after receiving the system's prompt, Shimura Zanyu immediately changed his mind. No one in this world is reliable, only one's own strength is true. Good. Donzo's one eye lit up, you have ambition, worthy of being my grandson. The position of Hokage should have belonged to our Shimura family. Don't worry, Grandpa will become Hokage as soon as possible to pave the way for you. Danzo calculated that he felt that he could work for another 20 years. By then, Zanyu would be less than 30 years old, at the peak of his career, and it would be just right to be Hokage. Then Shuanyu has sons and grandsons. As long as they are well trained, the future Hokage may not be like the daimyo, and the lineage may be passed down. Thinking of that scene, Shimura Donzo's heart was burning, and he wanted to pull Sarutobi Hirazan down right now. But it was just a thought. The most important thing now was the follow-up arrangements for Shimura Shuanyu. Danzo calmed down and said in a deep voice, Now that you have become a genin, according to Konoha's tradition, you need to arrange a team leader Janin and two teammates. 
but your situation with Uchiha Itachi is special. Only the two of you graduated early, and the teams have been arranged for the graduates. I won't team up with Uchiha Itachi. Shimura Shuanyu's head immediately shook like a rattle. Just kidding, that's a disaster. In the original plot line, Uchiha Itachi's eyes opened one year later than now, and the price of opening his eyes was that the death of his teammates stimulated him. Shimura Shuanyu is not unconfident in his own strength, and afraid that he will become the one who is sacrificed to the heaven. It is because Uchiha Itachi has been targeted by Kenji, and even the opening of his eyes was calculated by him. In the vast ninja world, there are only a few people he can't afford to offend except those cage. And Kenji is the most dangerous among them, so it is better to stay hidden and develop. Then don't team up with him. Danzo nodded slightly, let Hiruzen worry about Uchiha Itachi, you go to the route to train for a while, and I will arrange for you the team leader and teammates. Okay. Xuanyu nodded and agreed, just in time to brush out the rewards for the group of people in the route. After deciding the follow-up arrangements, Shimura Xuanyu and Danzo had dinner, and then found an excuse to return to his room to collect the rewards. It's a pity that the system only gave one day, otherwise he really wanted to save all the attributes and brush them to ultimate before collecting them, so that he could reach the level of breaking the limit in one step. What is breaking the limit? At least it is the level of Senju Hashirama and Uchiha Madara. Unfortunately, the dog system is quite thoughtful and does not give him the opportunity to bug. In fact, Shimura Shuanyu considered staying in the ninja school until all attributes are ultimate before coming out, but he thought about it carefully and finally gave up. You can't give up the whole forest because of a talent effect. There are still too few people you can contact in the ninja school. Becoming a ninja is to truly establish a connection with this world. That's why he chose to graduate now. Isn't it just talent? With hard work, you can always reach the limit-breaking level. System, give out rewards. Shimura Shuanyu muttered in his heart, the system did not respond at all. This thing is not very intelligent. At most, it can answer some rules questions. The rewards were quietly issued. Shimura Shuanyu only felt warm in his body. Cell activity and chakra activity suddenly increased by more than one level. And the chakra amount is still increasing rapidly. Opening the system panel, the number in the chakra amount column is constantly jumping. 5.2 cards, 5.7 cards, 6.2 cards, 6.5 cards, 7 cards. After about 10 minutes, it finally stopped at the ninth card. Among the special talents, the development of Senju bloodline has become ordinary. As for wood style, there is no trace at all. Many people have a misunderstanding that wood style and senju bloodline are inseparable, but in fact this is wrong. Senju is senju, and wood style is wood style. Throughout the thousands of years since ancient times, the only ninja who awakened wood style is senju Hashirama, and even whether sage of six paths can be wood style is still a matter of debate. It's not senju that is special, but senju Hashirama. Who knows how this pervert created such an outrageous escape technique, and it can even be connected with the sacred tree. Suddenly, Shimura Shuanyu felt a stinging pain in his eyes and couldn't help but cover them with his hands. A line of blood and tears flowed down the corners of his eyes, wetting his arms. When he opened his eyes again, Shimura's pupils had turned blood red, and a magatama appeared in each of his eyes. Standing in front of the mirror, Looking at the Magatama in his eyes, Shimura couldn't help cursing in his heart. The genius Izumi said that opening the Sharingan too early was bad for the body, but he opened his eyes at night. On the system panel, the Uchiha bloodline has changed from rich to ultimate. Feeling that the pupil power in his eyes is still rising, Shimura suspected that he could grow to three Magatama naturally without any stimulation. As for Mangekyo, he couldn't guarantee it, but it was definitely much easier to open it than others. Mom, you really gave me a great gift. Shimura whispered softly. There are hard-working geniuses in the Hokage world, but it is impossible to reach the peak. Might guy. That kick was indeed amazing, but in the end it only got Uchiha Madara's body repair, and he had to sacrifice his life. If Naruto hadn't obtained the six paths young power, he would definitely die. The ninja world is big, but it is also very narrow. Only the blood of Uchiha and Senju is the ticket to the top. Now Shimura Shuanyu has both, and finally has a lot of confidence. 
After closing Sharingan, Shimura Shuanyu returned to bed. The one Magatama Sharingan basically did not improve him, and it would definitely cause trouble. Before he could sweep Konoha and clear all the troubles, Sharingan should be hidden. Anbu, the full name of the Assassination Tactics Special Forces, was founded by 2nd Hokage Senju Tobarama. Or in other words, most of the systems and mechanisms of Konoha today were formulated by Senju Tobarama, and the so-called First Hokage was just his personal thug. Equivalent to Zhu Pengpeng's Admiral Army of the North. In addition to the ability to develop forbidden technique, Senju Tobarama is definitely a genius in politics. And the establishment of Anbu is his proud hand. The main function of Anbu is to protect Hokage and perform some special assassination missions. It is an extremely special organization, independent of the Genin Chunin Janin system. The identity of each member is secret and they all wear masks when they appear. But in addition to the high difficulty of execution, the biggest role of Anbu is actually centralization. This is a force that unconditionally obeys Hokage and does not accept orders from Janin squad leaders or any high-ranking ninjas. It is equivalent to the Jinyue of Konoha, who kills first and then reports, and the king's special authorization. Unfortunately, the system is good, but it has changed in the third generation. In name, Shimura Danzo's roots are just a small team of Anbu, but in fact, with Serutobi Hirazan's trust in Danzo and Danzo's own recklessness, the current roots have developed into a behemoth. Anbu has a captain and a vice-captain, and is under the jurisdiction of four battalions. Each battalion has a captain, and each captain manages 16 Anbu members. The 16 Anbu members are divided into four teams, with a captain and three team members. This is the configuration of Anbu in public. There may be more members in secret, but no more than a hundred people at most. In theory, the route is just a brigade of Anbu, which should have about 20 people, but according to Shimura Shuanyu, the route's ninjas have exceeded 50 people, and the scale is simply another Anbu. It is conceivable that with the connivance of Serutobi Hirazan, the power of Danzo has developed to what extent. And compared to the more well-known Anbu, the tasks performed by the root are more cruel, the selection method of Danzo is more cruel, and the overall quality of the members is stronger. Wearing a forehead protector on his waist, Shimura Shuanyu stood in front of the cave at the entrance of the root base and couldn't help but sigh. This root leader is more comfortable than Hokage, what is the old man fighting for? The figure of the young man slowly sank into the darkness, passed through the winding and rugged cave, and the space in front suddenly became clear, and a wide hall appeared in front of him. It was very quiet around, so quiet that it was creepy. A ninja wearing a red mask stood in the hall and waited quietly, followed by three subordinates. Seeing Shimura Shuanyu appear, the red masked man said coldly. Master Shuanyu, I am the captain of the second team of the route, codenamed, Owl. The leader has ordered that I will be responsible for your first lesson in the route. The content is also very simple, that is killing. For the root ninja, killing is indeed the simplest of all their training items. Shimura knew that most of the root ninjas looked like dead people, so he didn't care about his attitude. He nodded and said, you arrange it, and I will do it. Although he had a chief, he was once a nobody and had never killed a chicken, let alone a person. With strength, his mentality became a weakness. The battlefield was not a pure data comparison. Even a genin could kill a janin or even a cage with a kanai. Shimura knew that this was a level he had to go through, and there was nothing wrong with the old man's arrangement. However, he still put forward a condition, I declare in advance that I will only kill those who should be killed. If I think they should not be killed, I will not do it. The red masked man, Xiao, still spoke coldly, for the root, ninjas are just tools, and all mission targets can be killed, but Master Shuanyu is different. You have autonomy. The group left the root base and went directly out of Konoha village, heading northwest. At the speed of the ninja, they soon arrived at an ordinary village a hundred kilometers away. As the most powerful country in the world, the fire country has rarely been invaded by foreign enemies, and it is generally peaceful and harmonious. But it is still easy to find bad guys. After all, the whole society is still in the feudal aristocratic system, and a lot of corruption is hidden under the bright surface. Bandits, land hooligans, and a few people who should be killed can be found in any village. On the way, Xiao had told Shimura Shuanyu all the intelligence he had prepared in advance. 
Their target is a wealthy man in the village who made huge wealth by lending money, forced dozens of families to break up, and plundered the land. There are two wandering ninjas as bodyguards around him, but their strength is average, just the most ordinary Chunin level. This kind of fat pig is usually a cash machine at the root, just waste utilization, and give it to Shimura Shuanyu to hone it. The strength shown by Shimura Shuanyu in the duel with Uchiha Itachi that day can definitely crush this kind of miscellaneous ninja. Standing on a big tree in a wide courtyard, Xiao's cold voice came. Master Shuanyu, you can go in now. Bang. The wooden door exploded, and the thugs who were drinking and playing cards in the house looked at the door in astonishment. When the dust settled, a small figure walked in with a sword that was not much shorter than him. Hello, my name is Shimura Shuanyu, and I am here to see you off. Shuanyu showed a child's innocent smile. But before you die, can you tell me your name? It can be regarded as my free hospice care. The room fell into a brief silence, and then there was a burst of laughter. A strong man stepped forward a few steps, laughing so hard that he fell backwards. Where did this ninja doll come from? He actually wants to kill people. I am standing in front of you. Do you dare to stab me? Little brat, have you seen blood? Go back quickly. If it was an adult ninja, this strong man would definitely not be so arrogant, but a child of six or seven years old, even if he was a ninja, what could he do to him? What's your name? Shimura Shuanyu asked again. Lousy Uesugi Taro. Tear. The long knife slashed from top to bottom, and a red dot appeared on the man's forehead which then quickly extended upwards to form a blood line, and his body fell straight backwards. When he fell to the ground, his whole body, oh no, it should be that the body had been split in half, and various internal organs were all over the ground. Tisk. Shimura frowned instinctively, feeling a little nauseous. The mental impact of killing was not as great as imagined, but the physiological reaction was more serious. During this period of time, he could not eat any internal organs. Host and Taro Uyama established a life and death friendship bond, and the three stage reward was issued at one time, rewarding the host 0.1 standard unit Genin Chakra, and slightly strengthening physical fitness. Very good, his guess was right. Bonds require strong emotions to trigger, so what emotions can be stronger than the burst of death? Life and death friendship, very appropriate. I live, he dies, each of us takes one side, it's really fair. After a brief moment of shock, the other people in the room picked up their weapons and rushed up, shouting. Although ordinary people are afraid of ninjas, after a long period of training, their physical fitness will not be much worse than that of ninjas, not to mention that they have two chunin here. This group of people subconsciously attributed the death of Uyama Taro to Shimura Shuanyu's sneak attack in the weapon, and they were not afraid at all. Facing the returning long sword, no skills were needed, Shimura Shuanyu just faced it head on. With a crisp sound of ding, the enemy's weapon shattered, and then his legs were cut off. Outside the room, Xiao quietly listened to the screams coming from the room, without any fluctuations in his mentality. The only thing that made him feel strange was that Shimura Shuanyu's hobby was a bit strange. You must know the enemy's name before you die, otherwise you will not give them a quick death, but torture them repeatedly. Three minutes later, Shimura Shuanyu, without a drop of blood on his body, walked out of the door. The screams and wails in the room have completely disappeared. Master Zan Yu, are you okay? Xiao asked softly. It's not as bad as I thought before. Shimura shook his head slightly, but we still have to continue to hone our skills and adapt completely. That's good. Xiao nodded slightly, Danzo has prepared sufficient resources for you. If you don't need to rest, we can go to the next location soon. Let's go. The young man sheathed his long sword and took a deep breath, I don't want to waste any time. Adapt earlier, go back to see the sweet and soft lowly earlier. Although you don't have to sleep in the open outside, it's not as comfortable as living in your own home. Please wait a moment, we still need to recover assets. The subordinates behind Xiao moved. The members of the route are not only good at killing, but also good at raiding houses. In less than 10 minutes, all the cash, gold, silver, jewelry, house deeds and other valuable materials in this mansion were found. Shimura looked at the pile of bills and passbooks curiously, flipped them open and looked at them, and exclaimed. Quite rich. The local boss in a village has 20 million in deposits, 
almost catching up with Asuma, and this does not include the land deeds and fields, the total value is definitely more than 30 million. Hem. When he turned to a note, Shimura stopped flipping. I.O.U. I, Princess Tsunade, borrowed 8 million due to a shortage of gambling funds, and promised to pay it back before January 1st, the 54th year of Konoha. If the repayment date is exceeded, the monthly interest will increase by one point. The boy showed a strange smile. Tsunade's I.O.U. Folding it in half, Shimura collected the I.O.U. and sealed all the 3 million cash into the storage scroll. These things belong to me, you can deal with the rest. Owl remained silent. Although he was nominally the leader of this team, Shimura's authority in the route was second only to Danzo. He would not disobey Shimura's orders and would only report the situation truthfully. In the following days, Shimura was either killing people or on his way to kill people. He killed people from the west of the land of fire to the north, and then returned to the capital from the north. His targets included ordinary ruffians, groups of robbers and bandits, and even nobles from the land of fire. While the Kusanagi sword was stained with blood, Shimura was also growing rapidly. This growth was not in strength, but in character. He could not kill innocent people indiscriminately, but when facing an enemy, he could be merciless regardless of the opponent's age and identity. Finally, after dealing with a real estate businessman who built a secret base for Danzo but built a shoddy project, Xiao terminated the training. Master Xuanyu's character is no problem. Next, we will learn about poisons and traps, which will be the responsibility of the captain of the first team. Is it over? The boy had a bright smile on his face, and it was impossible to tell that this good-looking boy had stained his palms with the blood of hundreds of people in just one month. Speaking of Xiao. Shimura Xuanyu took a handkerchief, slowly wiped his palm, and said casually, We have known each other for so long, but I still don't know what your real name is. Xiao's voice without any emotion came, the ninjas of the root only need code names, not names. Xuanyu curled his lips, I am ordering you as a superior, you must tell me. After a long time, Xiao reluctantly spoke. Guancheng, Mao Yu Guancheng. Konoha. During the more than one month that Shimura Genjutsu was away, a major event happened. Orochimaru, the disciple of the third Hokage Serutobi Hirazan and the only Sanin left in Konoha, was confirmed to have used people in the village to conduct human experiments with the forbidden technique. He escaped from the village when the third generation led the Anbu in pursuit, becoming the highest-ranking rebel ninja since the establishment of Konoha. The news caused an uproar, and the reputation of the third Hokage was also greatly affected. Hokage Building, Hokage Office. The atmosphere was tense, and Serutobi Hirazan stared at the calm Shimura Danzo. Although Danzo did not show up during the whole process, as if he had nothing to do with him, Serutobi Hirazan just smelled that familiar smell. Danzo, what do you want to do? Are you trying to destroy Konoha by driving Orochimaru away? Serutobi Hirazan straightened his Hokage hat, and put the blame on him in a decisive tone. Konoha is now the weakest in history. White Fang committed suicide, fourth generation died, Ninetales Jinchuriki was still a baby, two of the three left, and only Orochimaru was left. In such an empty period, Danzo actually forced Orochimaru away, which was definitely a provocation to Serutobi Hirazan's bottom line. Am I doing something wrong? Shimura Danzo asked back, and did not deny Serutobi Hirazan's accusation, should I just do nothing and let Orochimaru use the villagers as experimental subjects at will to study his forbidden technique? Serutobi Hirazan's monkey face turned red, but he couldn't say a word. Doesn't he know what his apprentice is doing? Of course he knows. Since losing the election for Hokage to Namikaze Minato, Orochimaru has been living in seclusion more and more. Every time the master and apprentice meet, Serutobi Hirazan can feel his changes. He is no longer, like a human being. But he always keeps his eyes closed, pretending to know nothing, just to keep his beloved apprentice in the village, hoping that he will repent after completing the experiment one day. But some things cannot be said openly. If he says anything to agree with or acquiesce to Orochimaru's approach, his position as Hokage will be in danger. I don't need you to make decisions for me, Danzo. Serutobi Hirazan said word by word, I am the Hokage. You will regret it, Hirazan. Bang. Shimura Danzo left, but unlike before, 
he was in a very happy mood this time. Forcing Orochimaru to leave was his attack on the Hokage throne. He first shook Sarutobi Hiruzen's reputation, exposed his flaws, and finally struck a fatal blow. Zanyu was so powerful, so he, as a grandfather, could not remain indifferent. Otherwise, when Zanyu grew up, he had not become Hokage yet, so how could he ensure that he would become Hokage? Because of this, Shimura Danzo sold Orochimaru, who had always cooperated with him, without hesitation. After all, there would be places where Orochimaru would be useful in the future, so Danzo also gave compensation. 100 Ninja Test Subjects with this promise, Orochimaru decisively abandoned hatred, and the two remained the best partners. It's just that 100 test subjects are indeed a bit troublesome, and Konoha has just had such a thing recently, so they can't be found in the village, but can only go outside. Yamanaka. Danzo said lightly, and a ninja appeared behind him and knelt on one knee. Take the third and fourth squadrons to the land of water and capture as many people alive as possible. Yes. After answering, the root ninja disappeared instantly. When Shimura Shuanyu returned to the village, the villagers were still discussing Orochimaru's defection and experiments. And when he returned to the root base, Shimura Danzo was even more proud to show off his handiwork to him. Old man, aren't you afraid that other countries will hear this news and have thoughts again? Besides, isn't Orochimaru on good terms with you? He even gave me a sword. It's not good to cheat your own people, right? Shimura Shuanyu looked at Danzo speechlessly. His grandfather really deserves to be scolded. He is really a driver who can't be comfortable without making trouble. Isn't it better to wait for him to grow up and sweep across the entire ninja world? Danzo glanced at him with his one eye and snorted, You can think of something, but I can't think of it. The five major countries now have no strength to start another ninja war. They need to recuperate for many years at least. Orochimaru has no impact on the overall situation. Hiruzen is just deceiving himself and can't be cruel to Orochimaru. And. Danzo paused for a moment, his expression became particularly serious. Zanyu, remember, there are no friends in this world, there are only eternal interests. As long as it can bring benefits to me and protect Konoha, I will sell out even Hiruzen without hesitation. What about me? Shimura Zanyu looked at him fearlessly, if there is enough benefit, will you sell me out? Shimura Danzo was startled and shook his head immediately. No, you and the village are my greatest interests. You old man. Shimura smiled, let's not talk about this, I bought a lot of things this time. Danzo's plan was ultimately in vain. Sarutobi Hiruzen's reputation was indeed affected, but he ignored the existence of the bond. After receiving the news of Orochimaru's defection, a hero rushed back to Konoha as quickly as possible. In the village, on the roof of a women's bath. Old man, what's wrong with Orochimaru? Jiraiya asked in a serious voice. If we ignore the telescope in his hand and the location where the two were talking, the atmosphere might be more solemn. He, took a wrong path. In just a few days, Serutobi Hiruzen looked much older, do you still remember his dream? Jiraiya looked nostalgic, as if he had returned to the happiest time, of course I remember, that stinky snake wanted to learn all the ninjutsu in the ninja world, how could that be possible? Yes, he was lost in ninjutsu. Serutobi Hiruzen sighed, you are grown up, I can't control you anymore. Jiraiya, help the old man, Konoha needs you now. Jiraiya was silent for a moment, looking at the pleading eyes of Serutobi Hiruzen, and finally couldn't say no. One year, I will stay in the village for one year. After one year, I will bring him to you. Serutobi Hiruzen finally showed his first smile in the past few days. Okay. Jiraiya returned to Konoha in a high-profile manner and quickly helped Serutobi Hiruzen stabilize the situation. His status was too special. He was not only the disciple of the third Hokage, but also the teacher of the fourth Hokage, a heroic figure. Under the guidance of Anbu, the slightly turbulent Konoha soon became calm again and continued to recuperate. It just made Shimura Danzo very angry, and everything that could be thrown in the office was thrown. But it had nothing to do with Shimura Shuanyu. After he came back, he first gave himself a half-month vacation. From Kwan, he learned that Uchiha Itachi had joined the ninja team and, like ordinary genin, had been performing simple tasks in the village. 
Shimura Shuanyu temporarily lost interest in Uchiha Itachi. The rewards of the third stage required very strong emotions. He couldn't kill Uchiha Itachi now, so he just let him develop for a while. When he threatened him with the second pillar in the future, he would definitely be able to blow it up easily. After resting, Shimura Shuanyu started his study life again. The person in charge of teaching him this time is the captain of the 1st Route Battalion, Abarame Fanye, who is also Abarame Ching's father. The Abarame clan is not only good at playing with insects, but also very good at using poisons. After all, most insects are poisonous, and they will do corresponding research when they cultivate insects. Shimura Shuanyu does not need to learn how to make poisons, he just needs to understand the types of poisons and various ways of poisoning. As for detoxification, he has another teacher. Isn't this Dean Nono? Long time no see. Shimura Shuanyu looked at Yakushi Nono standing in front of him with a smile. In the beginning, he often went to the orphanage to send warmth to the children. After a few times, most people's bonds were refreshed to the second stage, and they didn't go there much. However, he still sent people to the orphanage to deliver some food and daily supplies every week. Master Shuanyu, this is the route, you can just call me by my nickname, Makoto. Yakushi Nono looked bitter, what she hated most was to expose her identity as a root spy in front of people she knew. So you are the famous, walking shrine maiden. Shimura Shuanyu, suddenly realized. Host and Yakushi Nono have reached the second stage of the bond, and are rewarded with medical ninjutsu talent. Shimura Shuanyu was stunned for a moment. Didn't he just mention a name? How could he break the defense, even the second stage of the bond was revealed. Master Shuanyu, that's all rumors, please don't mention this title. Nono squeezed out a smile that was uglier than crying, let's start teaching. Shimura Shuanyu nodded, did not refuse, and quickly entered the learning state. Kona has first, no, the first medical ninja in the ninja world is undoubtedly, everyone knows it is the famous Tsunade princess. With her help, Konoha has the highest overall medical level among the five great nations. Among these people, Nano's medical level is also quite high, and can be regarded as the first echelon below Tsunade. Shimura Shuanyu naturally would not waste such a rare mentor. Not only did he learn detoxification, he also learned medical ninjutsu from Nono. It is very difficult for others to learn medical ninjutsu, firstly because of the poor chakra control, and secondly because of the lack of yang attribute chakra, which must be mastered in a specific way. These two difficulties do not exist for Shimura Shuanyu. With the ultimate level chakra control talent and ordinary level senju blood, his vitality is very abundant, and the speed of progress makes no no dumbfounded. It only took half a month for her to master her experience in medical treatment and some unique ninjutsu. Master Shuanyu, I am afraid that the only person in the world who is qualified to be your teacher is Tsunade-sama. Nono looked at the boy in front of him and couldn't help sighing. Forget it. Shuanyu put down the fish that died and lived again, and lived and died again, and shook her head slightly, based on the relationship between my old man and Tsunade, I can't be her disciple. Nono was silent. Donzo's popularity, is indeed quite bad. Ordinary ninjas respect and fear him, but when it comes to Tsunade, the two sides are directly hostile. In the past, Tsunade often slammed the table with Danzo when he was in the village. But it is not her turn to say these words. Master Shuanyu, I have nothing to teach you. Nono bowed slightly, in the future, as long as you study more, you will definitely become a medical ninja who is not inferior to Master Tsunade even if you don't become his disciple. If you have no problem, I will go to perform other tasks for Master Danzo. Shimura Shuanyu shuttled through the root base and came to the deepest part of the mountain. He pushed open the door and entered Danzo's office. He asked impatiently. Old man, I have passed all the projects you arranged. Have you solved the problem of teammates? It has been almost three months since he became a genin, and he doesn't even have a team yet. How can he get a promotion and a raise and become the youngest Jonin and Hokage in this way? The door was pushed open hastily. Danzo frowned at first, but when he saw Shimura, he relaxed and patiently explained. There are already some clues. Your teammates and team leader Jonin will be in place in no more than a week. It will take that long. Shimura was speechless. Can't you just find a few people from the route? Of course not. 
Shimura Danzo shook his head. The ninjas of the route walk in the dark. I need you to stand in the light and follow the standard process to be promoted. Only in this way can you gain a higher reputation. Go back and recuperate for a while. You have been working hard recently. Danzo said with relief. Shimura's talent and willpower were far beyond his expectations. Anyone would be happy to have such a descendant. Okay, I'll go to play with Kwan. Shimura also accepted his fate. Can't you stay away from that Uchiha girl? Danzo, who was just relieved, immediately turned black. This was the only thing he was dissatisfied with Shimura. That's the evil Uchiha. The boy walked out the door without looking back, it's my own business who I like to play with. If you don't like it, just give birth to another one. Rebellious grandson. Rebellious grandson. Danzo roared in the office, but he really couldn't do anything about Shimura. Could he really give birth to another one? Danzo kept his word. A week passed in a blink of an eye. At the last moment, he sent someone to tell Shimura that his teammates and the team leader had been arranged to gather at the 47th training ground at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. With curiosity, Shimura arrived at the 47th training ground on time the next day. He came on time. When he arrived, there were already three people on the training ground, one man and two women. The man had no pupils, and his eyes were like those of a super severe cataract patient. The two girls had black hair and purple hair, and the contrast was obvious, but they both had one feature, that is, they were very beautiful. Shimura's expression was inexplicable. These three, were all acquaintances. When the leading man saw Shimura coming, he immediately knew that he was the last member of the team and smiled. It was just a little creepy with his serious and old-fashioned face and pure white pupils. You must be Shimura Shuanyu, right? I'm Hayuga Hazashi, your leader Jonan, and these two are your future teammates. Hello, Mr. Hazashi. Host and Hayuga Hazashi establish a master-disciple bond, and are rewarded with improved physical fitness. Shimura Shuanyu ignored the system's prompts and recalled Hayuga Hazashi's information. Hayuga Hazashi, the son of the previous head of the Hayuga clan and the younger brother of the current head of the clan, Hayuga Hiyashi. He became a branch house just because he was born 15 minutes later and was marked with the caged bird mark. With the relationship between Hiyashi and Hazashi, Hazashi didn't have much resentment about becoming a branch house, until his son Hayuga Neji was born, and Hazashi's mentality changed. Because of him, his son had to be controlled by others, and his descendants could not escape fate. There are many poor people in Konoha, including Hayuga Hazashi and Hayuga Neji. Especially Neji, the only one of the twelve who died in the Fourth Ninja World War, and the strongest one besides the protagonists. Tisk. Now that everyone is here, let's introduce ourselves first. This is a tradition. Only after getting to know each other can we become comrades more smoothly and leave our backs to our companions. Hayuga Hazashi didn't know that Shimura Shuanyu was already sympathizing with him and his son's future, and was controlling the rhythm according to the standard procedure. Let me demonstrate first. Hazashi didn't put on the airs of a janin, and was very easygoing. My name is Hayuga Hazashi, I'm 34 years old, a janin, a member of the Hayuga family branch house. When talking about the branch house, the white eyes dimmed for a moment, but soon returned to normal. I am good at using the Byakugan for reconnaissance and gentle fist for physical skills. I don't have many spells for long-range attacks, and I prefer close combat. My favorite food is sukiyaki, and my most hated food is fried hairtail. What about my dream? Hayuga Hazashi laughed at himself, I'm already old, and I don't have any dreams. I just want to live until I die. Okay, it's your turn. He turned his eyes and pointed at the black-haired girl, you start, Hong. The red-haired girl nodded slightly and introduced herself in a voice that everyone could hear, my name is Yuhi Kuranai, I'm 15 years old, and I'm a Chunin in Konoha. I'm good at illusions. My physical skills and ninjutsu are average, but I've reached the chunin level. My favorite food is shochu and wasabi octopus. My most hated food is cake. My dream is to become the master of illusions in Konoha village. Very good. Hayuga Hazashi nodded with satisfaction. It's your turn, Yugao. My name is Azuki Yugao. The purple-haired girl spoke in a cold voice. I am 14 years old this year a Konoha Chunin, good at Konoha-style swordsmanship, physical skills, and used to close combat. 
My favorite food is Sakura Hanako, and I don't have the most hated food. I can eat anything. As for my dream, Azuki Yugao, who had always been expressionless, showed a look of longing, I hope to become the strongest swordsman in Konoha. Then work hard. Hazashi smiled, I also know some of your father's deeds. His swordsmanship is indeed very strong, but it's a pity. Hayuga Hazashi shook his head regretfully. Azuki Yugao's father and the Jonin of the Moonlight Clan both died on the battlefield on the side of the land of the earth. When they were sent back, only half of their bodies were left. The longing on Azuki Yugao's face also disappeared, and the atmosphere became a little dull for a while. Well, Shuanyu, you are the last one. Hayuga Hazashi hurriedly changed the subject. Yugi Kurenai and Azuki Yugao also looked over. They were not unfamiliar with the name Shimura Shuanyu. Whether it was the grandson of Danzo or the fact that he graduated at the age of seven and became a ninja, it was enough to stir up a wave of heat in Konoha. But they still had doubts, even dissatisfaction. Even if he was a genius, they were all chunin. Was such a young child sent here to make sure he was not a drag? But Shimura Shuanyu's appearance still played a role. Facing such a cute little boy, at least on the surface, the two did not show any hostility or dissatisfaction, but they were questioning the arrangement of the top management in their hearts. Under the expectation of the three, Shimura Shuanyu began to introduce himself. My name is Shimura Shuanyu, the grandson of Hokage assistant Shimura Danzo. When he said Hokage assistant, he deliberately emphasized the pronunciation. The three of them were all black. Afraid that others would not know that you are second generation, right? Zan Yu didn't care about them and continued, I'm seven years old this year. I'm a genin of Konoha. I'm good at close combat and long-range bombing, and I'm good at ninjutsu and taijutsu. Oh, yes, I'm also a medical ninja. My best skill is swordsmanship, so it's impossible for Azuki Yugao to become the strongest swordsman in Konoha. Change your goal as soon as possible. There are many foods I like. I don't like mustard, cabbage, bitter melon, sweet potatoes. After talking for a long time, Shimura Zanyu finished talking about the foods he didn't like. Hayuga Hazashi and the other two were completely numb. Snap. Shimura Zanyu slapped his fist. My ideal is to establish a bond with everyone in the ninja world, a very deep bond, I'm done. There was another half-minute silence, mainly because there were too many complaints and I didn't know where to start for a while. In the end, it was the cold Azuki Yugao who took the lead. You are the best at swordsmanship, and you are also good at. No, you mean you are good at everything, aren't you bragging? Even the Hokage doesn't dare to brag like that. That means I am better than that old man. Shimura Shuanyu said as a matter of course, I am just telling the truth, it is your problem that you can't accept it. You actually slandered the Hokage. Seeing that the two were about to quarrel, Hazashi hurriedly dissuaded them and stood in the middle. Okay, don't quarrel, Shuanyu is indeed a very powerful genius, but what you just said is also quite amazing. How about this, let's do a test, and we can better show your strength. Training ground number 47. Hayuga Hazashi and Yuhi Kurenai came to the edge of the field, leaving space for Shimura Genjutsu and Azuki Yugao. Although the first test after graduation is usually a test like grabbing bells, Shimura Genjutsu's two teammates are Chunin, so this set of tests is meaningless to them. And Shimura Genjutsu. What, even if he fails the test, do you dare to send him back to school? Aren't you afraid that the Genin will come to you to talk at night? So it became a round-robin battle of three people, and everyone had to fight the other two team members once. The first game was Azuki Yugao and Shimura Genjutsu. Stop it, don't use detonating tags and any poison attacks. Hayuga Hazashi shouted while standing at the edge of the field. Shimura Genjutsu glanced at him. He had reason to suspect that this guy had investigated him, so he pointed it out specifically. Just compete in swordsmanship, how about it? Shimura Genjutsu asked. Come on. Azuki Yugao was ready to defend, and the meaning was obvious, let Shimura Shuanyu attack first. Shuanyu was not polite, and drew his long sword. In an instant, Azuki Yugao could feel that the momentum of the boy opposite had changed. Before the sword was unsheathed, he was just an ordinary cute little boy. When holding the hilt of the sword, his whole body became an extension of the sword, and the same sharpness was revealed. And the sword also shocked Azuki Yugao. Kusanagi sword. 
Yes, this is my grandfather's sixth birthday gift for me, which I asked for from Orochimaru. Azuki Yugao was jealous. Kusanagi sword, a sixth birthday gift. What a niche word. For a group of ninjas who prefer to use swordsmanship, the status of Kusanagi sword in their hearts is almost a divine weapon, and they dream of getting one. But Shimura Shuanyu said it so lightly, how could he not be jealous? I hope your swordsmanship doesn't disgrace the reputation of Kusanagi sword. Azuki Yugao could only say it with a hard mouth, but her body was still honest. The defensive posture just now was just a decoration, but when Shimura Shuanyu drew out the sword, she understood that the person standing in front of her was not a child, but an opponent worthy of serious treatment. Be prepared, I'm coming. Shuanyu reminded him and rushed up with the sword in hand. The speed was very fast, but it couldn't be compared with the body flicker technique. Since it was a swordsmanship competition, he would not use the body flicker technique to bully others. The swords intersected, and two figures flashed by, and then collided violently. Ding. 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 Bright sparks flashed at the intersection of the two long swords. Azuki Yugao's heart jumped, and her toes stepped hard on the ground, and her body retreated violently. Shimura Shuanyu took advantage of the situation and continued to rush up. The long sword chopped back, and the node hit was exactly the most uncomfortable position for Azuki Yugao. After that, she was like a beast in a cage, unable to use her strength. Every time she wanted to launch a counterattack, Shimura could always see through her intentions and moves. All her responses were hit at the weakest link, forcing him to change his tactics. Is this guy really not called Uchiha? She felt like she was fighting an Uchiha with Sharingan activated. Outside the arena, a strange color flashed in Yuhikurinai's beautiful eyes, and she was very surprised by Shimura's strength. Is this a genius? He can tie with Yugao right after graduation, he is just another Kakashi. Shimura's performance reminded her of her old classmate. Kakashi was also a genius famous for his swordsmanship. Tai. Hayuga Hazashi looked strange, this is not a Tai. His eyesight was far better than Yuhi Kuranai, so he naturally knew the current situation of Azuki Yugao, which was even more painful than losing. Clang. The sound of metal clashing rang out and Shimura's power suddenly surged, and a strong wind was blown away, and Azuki Yugao was blown away for more than 10 meters before she stabilized her body. Although there is a gap in absolute strength, after all, he is only 7 years old, but with excellent chakra control, Shimura can use chakra bursts continuously, similar to Tsunade's supernatural power, but not so terrifying. Shimura shook his head slightly, Although the Konoha-style swordsmanship is good, it is still too ordinary and the upper limit is too low. Konoha-style sounds mysterious, but in fact it is the most basic thing that anyone can learn. The physical skills taught in school are also called Konoha fluid skills. Azuki Yugao's swordsmanship foundation is good, but it is too rigid, and it is easy to see her next idea. I haven't lost yet. The purple-haired girl bit her silver teeth secretly. Shimura's evaluation made her very annoyed, but the verbal rebuttal was pale and powerless, and she could only prove it with actions. Azuki Yugao ran quickly, her shoulders shook slightly, and two shadow clone jumped out from behind, and the three main bodies burst out at the same time, and instantly came in front of Shimura Shuanyu, stabbing different vital points from the top, left, and right at the same time. Konoha style three moon dance. Shimura Shuanyu snorted disdainfully, Staring at the figure attacking from the left with a sharp look, a silver light swept across, and the other two figures exploded into smoke. When Azuki Yugao came to her senses, the Kusanagi sword was already against her throat. If it went deeper, she would be lying here immediately. Fortunately, Shimura Shuanyu retracted the long sword, you dare to use swordsmanship that you haven't fully practiced. How did you find my real body? Azuki Yugao who was at a loss, was awakened and blurted out questions. Shadow clone is not practiced well, the speed is different, the main body rushes half a body faster than the clone, and the whistling sound is the loudest. If I can't find the flaw in this way, then I won't be a ninja. Azuki Yugao was so embarrassed by these words that she almost buried her head in her chest. She thought she had learned the crescent moon dance very well, but now she knows there are so many flaws. Okay. Hayuga Hazashi stepped out to smooth things over. He was afraid that if Shimura continued to talk, one of the members would be autistic. Azuki Yugao stepped aside sadly. 
Her swordsmanship was crushed by a seven-year-old boy, and she was not in a good mood. Hong, the next game is between you and Xuanyu. Ah. Oh. Yuhi Hong walked to the opposite side of Xuanyu nervously, feeling weak in her heart. What should I do? I'm so scared. Will she be chopped by a knife soon? In order to prevent herself from being too embarrassed, Yuhi Hong decided to attack. Half a minute later, Kurinai lay on the ground, with a trace of crystal hanging on the corner of her mouth, and laughed foolishly. So many mustard octopuses. Hee hee, so much wine. Puff. Seeing Kurinai like this, Azuki Yugao, who was just depressed, suddenly felt much better and couldn't help laughing. Kurinai's illusion was rebounded. Although she lost in the field she was best at, she persisted for a long time. The battle just now lasted for two minutes. In this comparison, Azuki Yugao even felt that her performance was not bad. Hayuga Hazashi saw Kurinai's appearance and smiled helplessly. Zanyu, help her solve the illusion, you have already won. Oh. Shimura Zanyu responded and put the sword finger on Kurinai's forehead. Soon, her chakra flow returned to normal, and the illusion was naturally broken. I. Kurinai instantly understood what she had just experienced, blushed, and looked at Shimura Zanyu with unkind eyes. Little brother, don't you know how to save some face for your sister? How can you break the illusion like this? Illusion rebound should be the most hated way of breaking for all illusionists. This means that the enemy is either more grandmaster than her, or has strong mental power and is not affected by illusion at all. It is a naked humiliation. It is no less than being beaten 7 to 0 in football. Hong wanted to find a crack in the ground to crawl into. If she had known this, she would not have used illusions and would have directly picked up a kanai to fight. Little brother. Shimura was stunned. This was the first time he heard someone call him that. Looking down, he nodded involuntarily. Well, there is nothing wrong with calling him that now. Then I'll pay attention next time. Who knew that your mental power was so weak that you were easily caught in my illusion without any defense? Shihi Hong Hong was so angry that she stretched out her hand to pinch Shimura Shuanyu's little face, but he dodged it flexibly. Teacher, look at him. Seeing that Shimura Shuanyu didn't even let him vent his anger, Yuhikura and I chose to complain directly. Okay, Shuanyu is right, Hong you are too careless, don't underestimate any opponent, understand. Hayuga Hazashi was madly complaining in his heart, did he dare to help Hong bully Shimura Shuanyu? Aren't you afraid of being invited to the root base as a guest at night? Yuhi Kurinai was scolded by Hayuga Hazashi and didn't dare to refute, but just quietly glared at Shimura Shuanyu with her big eyes. Shimura Shuanyu was not afraid, and glared back fiercely. What year is it, how could he be a licking dog? If he wants to lick, it should be others who lick him. Dare to glare at me. Yuhi Kurinai laughed instead, this little guy is much more interesting than that precocious beard. Host establishes a teammate bond with Azuki Yugao, and is rewarded with one standard unit of Chunin Chakra. Host establishes a teammate bond with Yuhi Kurinai, and is rewarded with one standard unit of Chunin Chakra. Shimura and Hayuga Hazashi came to the edge of the field, and the system's rewards were also issued. Looking at this shabby establishment, Shimura was not surprised at all. Although the two girls are more beautiful than each other. But their strength is indeed terrible, and they don't have any special bloodline limits. This system doesn't look at identity or appearance, it only looks at whether you have the goods. Forget it, watch the fight, I like watching women fight the most. Hazashi heard the boy's soft muttering, and couldn't help but twitch his mouth. Thinking of some information he had heard from the village, he really couldn't imagine how an old shady guy like Shimura Danzo could have such a grandson. The difference in personality is too big. On the training ground, the battle between Azuki Yugao and Yuhi Kurinai has begun. There was no hair pulling. The two female ninjas showed their best to prove that it was not they who were weak, but Shimura who was too strong. Hayuga Hazashi risked a close fight with Azuki Yugao just to find the best time to use illusion. But unfortunately, illusion is to surprise and sneak attack. Once the enemy knows that you specialize in illusion, they will naturally be on guard, and it will be difficult to succeed. Unless you have Sharingan like Uchiha, you can use it with just a glance. Obviously, Hayuga Hazashi doesn't have such ability now. So she lost. Azuki Yugao breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, 
She was not the last one in the team. Hayuga Hazashi was not too disappointed. She understood the shortcomings of illusion ninjas. The two returned to Hayuga Hazashi and Shimura. Everyone performed well. Hayuga Hazashi smiled, Taijutsu, Genjutsu, Ninjutsu, our team is well equipped, and there are no shortcomings. The combat power of three Chunin plus one Jonin is an elite team even on the battlefield. To celebrate the establishment of the team, I will treat you tonight, let's have a good meal. Okay. Thank you, Teacher Hazashi. Yuhi Kuranai and Azuki Yugao smiled. Hazashi smiled, then let's go. Then let's go to the barbecue restaurant. Shimura suddenly interrupted with the innocence of a child, Teacher Hazashi is a janin, and ordinary places are definitely not suitable for your identity. Wait. Cold sweat appeared on Hazashi's forehead, but before he finished speaking, the two girls' eyes lit up, really. Teacher Hazashi, I haven't eaten barbecue for a long time. Me too, the last time I ate it was the last time. Facing three pairs of expectant eyes, Hazashi's words of refusal came to his lips, but he couldn't spit them out. For the sake of his dignity as the leader of the team, Jonan could only force a smile and said, Yes, I was originally planning to treat you to barbecue, but Zanyu said it first. Long live Teacher Hazashi. Teacher Hazashi, you are so nice. The laughter and cheers of the 47th training ground floated far away, but the slight sighs mixed in were subconsciously ignored by everyone. Hayuga Hazashi walked at the end of the team, looking at the little boy who was bickering with Yuhi Kuranai, he was really angry and amused. Boy, you are really ruthless. Thanks for watching.